Hello and welcome back to another episode of Nori's Fantasy Life. Oh hey! Royal Grasshopper finally! Sweet! Now we can give that boy one after he's waited so long. Anyway, so I'm doing things a bit differently in this episode, as well as the next few. Most of the content of the next several episodes are recorded of gameplay, or most of me just doing all kinds of level ups and completing the life challenges for all the lives. That way I'm ready when I'm to upgrade to apprentice whenever I please. But it does mean I'm recording the commentary after the fact rather than as I'm playing, so we'll see how this goes. Also, I do apologize for the background music disparity. I've sped up several parts of this and wanted to add some of the area music to have in the background. The sped up vol volume just doesn't work for me. Too jittery and nee -nee 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 -nee. So the tracks won't match up when I speed up the clips, but the normal time stuff still has its original sound. I do have the dagger and shield equipped, just to say that, since I do want to increase my dagger level alongside everything else. We are given several high-level daggers as gifts later in game, so it would be nice to actually use them when we get them. I'll periodically use the dagger instead of my more powerful weapons, for that very reason. Anyway, with all that out of the way, Nari's going to be heading to Elderwood for the first time today. Lots to explore, lots of new enemies to see, and lots and lots of wood to cut. So let's just do that, shall we? Alright, so the first enemies we encounter are gingeries, which are basically just carroties, except they're ginger roots instead. That is easier to defeat as well, though I think they might have slightly higher HP. Three hits and show the shield is basically my way of my fighting method that I ended up going with. Shield level only rises when you get hit. Alright, and that big monster there is a plains bear. There are two in this forest and they're the bounty monsters in the place. So, this one's gonna take quite a while since I'm using that dagger, so let's just speed things up. Yay! Shield level 2, dagger level 2, it working! But oh, those plane bears hit hard even with the shield. And there it goes! Down! Alright, so they do tend to drop honey and sometimes even fish was defeated. Since this, this one took so long, I d kind of avoided the second one in the forest, There's since there's another one up in another section. And yep, you can see it right there at the top. Grassland honeys. Alright, let's get those fish. You saw me get my first elder wood trout just right outside that entrance. So let's get more of them. So yeah, I'm gonna be cutting a lot of stuff, speeding through a lot of stuff. It's the next few episodes are just gonna be me experimenting with the editing and stuff. Trying to figure out, oh, do I want to keep this? Do I want to drop it? So I'm not going to show everything, everything, just the bare bones. But since this was my first time in Elderwood, I decided to just do the whole thing. And woo! Giant Elderwood! That's going to be a nice bonus. Alright, let's park in that thing outside the entrance. Like, hell am I carrying it around with me the entire time. Bounties will stay wherever you leave them, so no worries there. Ex except obviously when you gather up a fourth one, because then that oldest one will disappear, as, as I explained in the last episode. Three bounties only, and that's the limit. Anyway, obviously monsters respawn, so we'll take care of the gingeries here, but leave that plains bear alone. Leave me alone, bear. Alright, and that's an Apple Ape, so I think they might be called Apple Jacks in the game? I can't remember, but we'll figure out later when we get the quest of whatever 
fighting class will want to take those out. As well as a few mushrooms. Pretty easy to defeat all around. Yeah, and in game time, you can see it going nighttime right now. I definitely stayed out all night for this particular character moment. Alright, and then we got some entries. I know that's not what they're called, but that's basically what they are. Don't mess with the ants, even if they're actually really easy to defeat. <laughs> Ooh, yay! Level up! Always nice. So like I said, there's gonna be lots and lots of leveling up for me. So. I think with what I'm already- what I've filmed already, I've already reached level 17 <laughs> just by trying to get through those challenges completed. Uh, chop chop complete. Still looking for elder logs, but that should be the last of the quests other than those elder logs. So it's just the one and the three. But everything else is done! Nice! And that there's a forest panther. It looks like it should be a bounty, but it's not. It, it's There's only one in the forest, but it, it's not a bounty. Just decently powerful because it's quick. Animal claws, nice. We're gonna need those later. Alright, and that big tree there, that's the elder oak tree. So these two sections that we were just in, that those are about the only areas you will find one, but they will almost always be there. And they do tend to drop about two or three more logs than the normal trees. Every type of tree has an elder tree like that, so... Oh hey, Hootwink. Yeah, that's wh this is where they are, except they only appear at night. <laughs> anyway, every tree does get... Um, an elder version that will always appear wh in whatever area those trees appear in. So you're almost always guaranteed at least one big tree. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I did a bad job fighting this hoodwink. It was just constantly putting me to sleep. Yeah, it was annoying. Is it unfair to fight the enemies when they're sleeping? Probably. Do I care? Not in the least. <laughs> Experience is experience, and all experience is good experience. <laughs> this fight and everything that just respawned. Yay, another level increase. Forget what's touch screen options and what's not. And when you have your weapons out, you have to actually touch menu because you can't actually press the Y button. Because the Y button is taken up with changing targets when you have your weapons out. So that's the annoying part there. Why was I sneaky? I don't know. 
yeah, let's take out this second panther. this snoozing bear at the very least because I don't want to fight it. <laughs> More entries. I realize now watching this that I didn't actually read what's on that tablet. It's not too important but it's it, it's a thing that might be mentioned later in game, so at some point I do actually want to read that. Still no elders, boo. I get them eventually, but it's just... It's annoying how long it takes sometimes. And a second hoot wink. This one at least didn't go putting me to sleep every time. And we got some forest sprite spirits. I didn't really need to attack, they aren't hostile unless you actively attack them. But I kind of want to just show how their fighting style went. For all that it took me forever to actually hit them. They do drop some very nice items though, like that tool upgrade stone. Like, we won't be able to use it until later in our, um, in our life, but they do come in very handy. And this tree right here! This is- these floating trees, they're very magical. This is the Elderwood tree, and it's- As you can see, I was doing zero to it, even after I broke its barrier. And that's just because I'm too low leveled. Uh, bit trees, ores, there are various items scattered throughout that have that barrier. They're just much more high quality, high leveled. They give very nice items though. And it's definitely going to be a mission to actually cut that thing down eventually. I just got to get high enough level to actually do it. But even once I'm able to do damage to that thing, it's probably still going to take a while to cut it down unless I'm really, really high leveled. Let's get the more fish. Safe spear here at the end of the Elderwood, obviously. It's very nice, very handy. As I said before, I really like the music in this game. <laughs> A lot of the soundtracks really are very peaceful. So I I'm just gonna enjoy Elderwood's song for a little while. Like, it has that nice little nature vibe, but it also has just a little teensy bit of air of mystery to it, because Elderwood is just a little bit mysterious of a location, as we'll find out later. 
Oh, nice. A critical hit, finally. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, if I time my, um, reel-in moment, I get the critical catch. And ooh, Deep Alderwood. Spooky music. <laughs> Stop right there! Didn't you read the sign? It says, warning, there's some beasts ahead. I shall let no one pass, not while I am on guard. You shall not pass! I had to. <laughs> anyway, yes, the road to Deep Elderwood is blocked off by, for story reasons. So, warning, Pearson Beast ahead. Unskilled fighters, please turn back now. I absolutely would have gotten my butt kicked. But here we have the blue oak tree, which is basically an oak tree except it's blue. It might have a little bit more HP, I honestly don't really tell. But ooh, sad, I didn't get the critical. Anyway, bye. <laughs> back to regular Elderwood. <gasps> oh yes! You guys see that? You see that right there? That is the bounty fish of the Elderwood. The forest lord fish. You can see fish like this all over the place, but they come up very, very rarely. And it's just, they take so long to actually fish up because their HPs is ginormous. But they are rare, and when they show up, you want to catch it immediately, because there's no guarantee it'll be there when you get back. But, oh, is it annoying trying to find a specific one, because they'd only ever appear in certain spots. Like, the four swordfish, it'll only ever appear in this fishing spot here at the dock. It's like... They're, they, like I said, they only appear in the one spot, so if you have to go through an entire dungeon area or whatever just to get to the fish, it's like, it's very annoying and disappointing when you reach that spot and find it's just a regular fish shadow, as we we were seeing earlier, actually. It's like, it's a, basically a 50-50 chance of whether you'll get the big bounty fish or just a regular shadow fish. It's just... <sighs> I'm gonna probably- I might actually do a montage at some point just to show how long it takes me to find one of these fish. But ooh, the four slide fish. Good. Excellent. Beautiful timing. But anyway, yeah, you see how long it's taken me? Like, I left this part alone just so you guys can get your full picture of how long it takes to fish these things up. Yes, higher level Mina makes make it easier later on, but... Also, yes, fishing these things up is absolutely an angler challenge for various ranks. But there's a trick to it that I can I'll be showing you guys later. Because fishing these ones up is absolutely as of angler, but there's a way to trick the game into thinking, oh, you did fish that up as an angler. But that will be near the end of the video. It is pretty cool that the bounty fish, at least, they all have their different models. They all actually look like they're the big fish. Like the four swordfish, it actually looks like this. There's going to be swordfish later in the ocean that we can catch, and they'll absolutely have their uh, tail fins and shark fin looking thing. Things swimming around in circles around the above the water level, so. They all have unique models, and it's very obvious when it's there. Almost there, almost there. There it goes! Forest Lordfish appears and she reeled up. Yes! 
I think it's basically just a giant catfish with moss growing on the back. That's basically what makes it a the Lordfish. What? What? They also dropped Lord Boris Lordfish Moss, which I think is used for recipes later on in game. But I, I can't truly guarantee that until those recipes open up. All right, now that we've got our fish. Immediately save, yes. <laughs> I had to do that save immediately after. I was not losing that fish. There's no guarantee it would have been back there when I got back to it if I lost a save. Anyway. Park it away, because I'm not losing it to monsters. Hell no, no way. Anyway, that's basically everything in the Elderwood. For now, at least. there. I think there's a big monster boss that will appear later that will be need to be defeated as a wizard. But we'll see that later when we get to it. So I'm just going to do one final round of collecting and before leaving this forest behind and then we'll go cash, our, cash in our um, bounties. Ooh, still no others. There is actually a rare fish that I still haven't been able to catch, which is why I keep trying. Um, it's a rainbow trout. They're the rare fish of the Elderwood. Woo! Level trout! Two at levels in one video, yay! Slowly getting those skill level points up. Yes, I have a squeaky chair. I apologize. More Elderwood. all those fish that's so <laughs> oh, that was a happy coincidence sneaking is now up to level two I don't know why I snuck in that moment but right. protect the bounty keep it away from the monsters oh hey if trees are back that means yeah I, I did go and get the big oak tree a uh, bounty once more, which did make me lose my planes bear, but it, it's absolutely worth it. <laughs> but that tree is going to be on the other um, clearing area, I guess that you can call it. As I said, there they it, the big tree alternates between this one and the other one. And that great Elderwood tree stays in its particular corner. Yep, there's the big oak. I still didn't get the critical. And still no elders! Boo!
Dang it, put me asleep. Gingeries can apparently do that. Alright, out of the Elderwood. Then yep, Plains Bear is gone, so let's grab that our first great oak tree and then get out of here. Back to Castell. some coyote. Keeping the fish in the center as I travel because I want, if anything gets attacked, I want it to be the end ones. Although I suppose it would have made more sense to have the fish in front in that case. But I didn't want monsters getting close to me attacking it. Anyway, back now that we're back in Castell, time to do the little trick I wanted to show y'all. So change the order of the bounties here first because I want to just get rid of those trees first. And there's the reason why I wanted to keep the oak trees over the plains beer, because I would have just gotten honey from the plains beer, but I want those elder oaks. They don't count towards the number of actually finding elder oaks, but I can still use them for later crafting material, which I do need. No, I don't want to talk. I do not want to do that. She automatically starts talking if you have more bounties. So, change the laugh to Angler. And this will absolutely trick the game into thinking you fish that up as an Angler. Six hundred dosh, and yes indeed. There we go! Lord of the Forest complete! And of course we get to keep our forest lord fish for whatever recipes we want to use or selling it or what have you. <sighs> All right, let's check our challenges and we'll see how just get that confirmation counter hook. I'll eventually get that later. Juicy catch, catch the apple fish, rare fish, and the grassy plains. But elder wood, catch five elder wood. So yeah, as long as you get the requirements, you don't actually have to be the rank it says it should you should be. And there we go, Lord of the Forest, as an angler, catch it. And then receive its bounty, that's the key. If it says receive the bounty, then you can change your life and catch the bounty as the appropriate life to still get the achievement. If it says defeat as the thing, then there's nothing you can do other than to go back and defeat it as whatever life it needs to be. But that usually only applies to the warrior ones. Alright. Alright, and then here's just a quick rundown of whatever challenges I have left. Paladin, of course, is just... Lots of things where it's just it has to be Paladin. Same with the Mercenary.
Bees, roadrunners, wolves, and coyotes. I'm saying that now the wizard one's gonna be the most annoying to level up because your magic doesn't actually. The experience points based of your magic is based on how much SP you use. So you gotta use a lot of SP to actually level up, and it's. it's annoying. <laughs> Yep, again, just the Elder Oaks. Yellowstones. Okay. Craft all kinds of stuff. Yes, I've been yawning. I'm tired. It's kind of late for me. Alright, and then a quick rundown of the skill points. So dash level 5, sneaking level 2, riding 2, woodcutting 2, fishing 4, dagger 4, longsword 1, shield 3, greatsword 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, cooking 1, and yeah, most of these are one, level one. That will raise very quickly afterwards. Alright, so here's I'm just changing my life to Paladin so I can get those warrior ones out of the way for the next episode. And that should be it, so... Hope you all have a wonderful evening. I'll see you all day next time. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye now.